Hello everyone, it is I, the one coolest man, and welcome back to more Undertale. Now before I go back to where I was last episode, where you all saw that dramatic ending, I, f I remember that this was here and I never went back here, so let's go back here. Yep, there's a shop back here, which is awesome. Let's buy. <laughs> you should buy all our stuff. <laughs> Empty gun, bullets not included. Attack up on ward. Mystery key. Well, I'll take this hat. <laughs> Bullets not included. Hmm. Buy some junk food. And that's it. Like, see you later. Anyway, now that that's done, I'll meet you guys back where we were earlier. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every experience you've earned. What's the XP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. It's a way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now you understand. It's time to begin your judgment. Look inside yourself. Have you really done the right thing? And, concerning what you've done, what will you do now? Take a moment to think about this. He's got a point. I did kill two bosses. Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you said. All that's important is that you were honest with yourself. What happens now, we leave it up to you. So, he's gone. Throne room. I think it'd be easier if we went to the throne room first. I mean, that's what makes sense. <laughs> dum -de -dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I? Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know, you know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room.
He even seems nice. Ah. Uh, how tense. I'm just thinking of it like a visit to the dentist. But no one likes visiting the dentist. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I'm not ready either. Strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination! Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Asgore attacks! Bring it on! Tough. But there was nothing to say. Much check Asgore. 80 attack, 80 defense. Man, Asgore hurts. I really don't want to have to kill Asgore. He just seems really nice. Like Papyrus said he would be. There was nothing to say. Oh, frick. I just realized it was. You equipped the locket. Weird. I didn't even know that was an equipable. What did that replace then? Oh, my cowboy hat. Actually, put on the apron. Food. Okay, I figured out how that attack works. Ow. Should have bought more healing items. Wow, I can't believe I survived that. Seriously, am I playing like Super Hexagon or something? Because that's what dodging this attack feels like. If I have a chance, I'm going to spare you. Frick, I forgot to move, but that was really fast. Someone tells me I might die here. Oh. 
And why am I not getting my 1 HP? Up, time for Super Hexagon. Oh my god. There it is. Up, oh, this attack. I'm gonna die from this, aren't I? Wow, I did. Come on, Asgore, don't make me do this. <sighs> don't make me do this. Uh, so, that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But, I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie, and we could be... Oh. Oh. Uh. Goat King. Terrell was a goat woman. So, Asgore, I have some bad news for you. <laughs> I just realized. Oh, I feel so bad. Uh huh. I'm like actually tearing up. I feel so bad now. We could be like, like a family. Uh-oh. No! You idiot. You haven't learned a thing in this world. It's kill or be killed. <laughs> the game actually crashed. Crashed. Wow. The game like actually crashed. It closed out. I'm not kidding. Well, I guess short episode this time around? 
I want to open it back up, but who knows what may happen. So, uh, I guess this is the end of the episode. We'll see what happens next time. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Undertale. I know it was short, and I know I've kind of been leaving you guys on cliffhangers, but we will come back another day to figure out what happened. So, if you guys want to see more, hit the like button and subscribe button both at the same time. Harder than flowery killed Asgore. Uh, I feel bad for both sides of this. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Coolest out. Cue the intro before I get emotional. Cue the outro!